Yellowstone volcano will erupt again, scientists are certain, and the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, has now revealed when the next mega blast will go off. Welcome back to the channel, today we're going to review the past eruptions to help with predicting the next major eruption. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. Yellowstone volcano is estimated to have last erupted 640,000, 1.2 million and 2.1 million years ago. The world's attention is now firmly focused on when the supervolcano in the northwest United States will go off again. Yellowstone volcano is monitored around the clock by the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, branch of the USGS. Any signs of imminent eruption will be preceded by earthquakes, ground uplift, and unusual volcanic activity. But the USGS has looked back at the history of past Yellowstone eruptions to predict when the supervolcano will erupt again. Sharing their revelations during a Facebook Live event in April 2018, USGS geologists Michael Poland and Wendy Stovall said there are no signs of Yellowstone acting out of the norm at the moment. In the distant future, however, the risk of the volcano erupting again increases. Let's take a look at what they have to say. During their talk, they will reference a hotspot map and the rhyolite lava flows maps as shown here, if you would like to follow along, you will find the link for the maps in the description below. Okay. So Wendy, you want to take the next question? Yeah. This is about, to, are there signs that Yellowstone will erupt soon? Is it overdue? Will it erupt within the next few years. Uh, this, uh, Randy asks, will it erupt in the next six years? And, and Madeline would like to know what are the signs that an eruption might occur? Okay, um, so there, this is a question that we get a lot, and the, the question of whether Yellowstone is overdue is a, is a kind of interesting one. I'm going to show you a, a map here that shows the hotspot trace. So Yellowstone is a hotspot volcano. You can see it's um, evidence across the Snake River Plain. This is a map that shows the state of Idaho. This is the state of Idaho here. And here is the current Yellowstone volcanic field right up here. And this is the state of Wyoming. And the numbers that you're seeing here are the, the number of basically millions of years ago that these volcanic centers erupted. Now, if you take into account just to here, just back through the last six million years, then the average recurrence interval is about um, 900,000 years, 996,000 years, actually. And if you really only looked at the Yellowstone volcanic field, and, and this is the number that people cite most often, um, they say it's, it erupts every 600,000 years. Well, that's not actually true. The average of these three, um, these two intervals between 2.0 and 0 0.6 and 1.2 and 2.0 is 700, and 40,000 years. So it's actually a 740,000 year interval if you take in just those. Um, but you can't really get statistically accurate if you look at only two intervals. Um, and the, the way that it works is this volcanic field will, there's cycles that it goes through. So it erupts, and um, it erupts rhyolite lava flows, big rhyolite lava flows, and then it'll erupt in a super eruption, and then more rhyolite lava flows will come in and fill in the caldera, so it, the super eruption will form a caldera. Here, this is the Yellowstone National Park, and all of the pink stuff is rhyolite lava flows that have erupted in, since the last super eruption, which was 600,000 years ago. So if that interval is correct, 740,000 years, and it's been 600,000 years since the last one, then we're really 140,000 years away from another eruption. So that's, that's one, one aspect of it. The other aspect is if it does erupt again, um, more than likely we would see more of those lava flows. And the lava flows will have an impact inside the park. They're very big. The last one was 70,000 years ago, and it erupted an area that is about the size of Washington, D.C., called the, the Pitchstone Plateau. And in addition to the lava flows, there were mild explosive eruptions, um, not, not putting ash very high up into the atmosphere, but, but definitely things that would impact the National Park area. We're, we're not seeing any signs presently that Yellowstone is doing anything different than it has. We've had lots of indications of 
all of the seismic swarms and everything, those have happened since we've been monitoring and it hasn't erupted yet. So um, we don't expect that it will erupt anytime soon. Okay. okay. Dr. Stovall answers additional viewer questions about when the volcano will erupt, along with concerns on volcanic ash. She'll reference this chart. If you'd like to follow along with the chart, a link is listed in the description. Um, I wanted to address too, it looks like uh, Brittany Paddock's sixth grade science class has chimed in with a couple of questions. When we think Yellowstone will erupt again, like a big explosion, um, and how much ash would be released. And this sort of gets back to what yeah. Wendy was addressing in, uh, in the very beginning of the... Yeah, so I, um, we really don't even know if the, the Yellowstone Plateau volcanic field as it is now will ever erupt in the super eruption again. Um, it's gone through three super or three caldera forming cycles. It could mean that it's done. Uh, we we do know that there's magma under the ground. We know that there's basaltic magma coming in and sitting underneath the the larger rhyolite body. This is the basaltic magma. Um, when when Yellowstone when the Yellowstone volcanic field is done, we will see eruptions kind of like the ones that are in Hawaii at the surface and inside the caldera. We'll know that it's done then. The, the volcanic field that is a little bit to the west of Yellowstone, um, the high sea volcanic field, there's been, uh, that was the one that erupted just before this Yellowstone volcanic field. And there have been basaltic eruptions in that. So that's kind of the next stage in the cycle. So, so the basalt sort of squirts through up to the surface. Yeah, and the reason why it can get up to the surface is because that the rhyolite body, that, that spongy body of partial melt, isn't sitting there blocking the basalt to get up to the surface. But right now it's preventing it from getting there. So um, it's supplying heat, but there's no sign that, that it's gonna erupt. We're not sure if it will. Um, and the ash will, depending on the size of the next super eruption, which may be hundreds of thousands of years, if not millions of years away, much further to the west than we are currently seeing activity now. Um, who knows if people will be here. <laughs> um, but yeah, ash ash will if the next super eruption from from that system will will send ash into the atmosphere and and yeah, it'll be a nuisance for people thousands of miles away, but it won't be life ending. Um, one question I'd like to. USGS geologists Michael Poland and Wendy Stovall said there are no signs of Yellowstone acting out of the norm at the moment. They predict that the next major eruption is 140,000 years away, assuming the average intervals are accurate. And, that we'll have plenty of warning signs before a major eruption. Thanks for watching, please subscribe for additional information on Yellowstone. If you've enjoyed the video or learned something new, Please click the like button below.